and it'll say, it'll come online on the left, and that's when you arrive. Ooh, that's really blurry, babe. Oh, there we go. It's firming up a little bit. Let's see. Maybe it'll take a minute. Hi, guys. If you're just joining, I'm just making sure I have both of my computers here working. Okay, it's working, babe. Thank you. Hi, guys. Hi, everybody. Holly says hi, Tim. Hi, Holly. <laughs> Yay, LaTanya, you're here. Hi, guys. Tim and the kids are heading to the fair right now. It's actually very overcast and very windy and looks like it might rain any second. But um, last weekend when we were traveling home from my parents, we saw that a neighboring town had a big like fair situation set up in the Target parking lot. And I thought to myself, we are gonna be next. So Tim was trying to, he was kind of trying to fiddle with the delay again. I am clicking live chat. Everybody make sure you're on live chat with me. Up at the top of the chat, it says top chat and you have to change it to live chat so that you're actually seeing everyone's comments. Yeah, happy Easter, everybody. So last week I thought to myself, it's going to be us next weekend. And my kids loved it last year. So I'm always kind of a little concerned with the fact that they put those things up and tear them down every weekend. But happy Saturday. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Isabel. Jackie. Kim is here. Hi, Jennifer and Cher and Mary. Hi everyone, Candace is here. There's Jerry. Hi everyone. I have on my Queen Kitty shirt today. I can't remember if I told you guys about this shirt. Honor drew me this kitty, this purple kitty cat with it. She has a crown, oops, it's backwards, crown right there. And I um, decided to put it onto a shirt because I loved it so much. I mean, what's better than a purple? kitty cat with a crown oh man I have my kale polish haul that I did the other day just up here so we, there was something nice to look at while I was fiddling with the making sure that the um, camera and camera was working and everything <laughs> Isabel you do whatever you want to do while I talk this is just our hangout time Yay, glad you're here. Um, oh, so this is my kale polish haul when they did like the, was it was it 70% off? It was some like really big number. Did anybody else partake? I actually purchased the whole Zodiac collection, but one busted, I think it's Libra um, in transit. So I'm gonna wait on that. And then I also got this one Mother of Dragons? No, that's Capricorn. This one must be Mother of Dragons. You know, because Game of Thrones started again. So, I still have on um, Poppy Fields Forever from the Static Lacquer and Moonshine Manny Spring California Love and Indies box. That's what's on my nails, but I need to have clean nails. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot my acetone. So, give me one second, guys. I snagged something else while I was out there to show you guys. I found this game at Target the other day. 
my mom doesn't watch my channel, so I don't have to worry, but I got this for my mom for Mother's Day. And, um, <laughs> we, so my mom really, really likes games, just like me. It's probably where I get it from. And, um, we used to play this game a lot when we were kids, Labyrinth. But this is the Harry Potter version. Basically with this game, like, you have all these little tiles, and you, on your turn, you get a chance to, like, move a row or a column, like, down or up, and you're trying to, like, clear the path. Has anybody played this game? Clear the path to find your, the things you need on your cards. Um, what happened? Let's see. Oh, okay, good. You guys are answering her questions in the comments. If you have any questions specifically for me, you can put them in caps, and I might be more likely to know it's a question specifically for me. Anyway, I'm excited to give this to her for Mother's Day. She likes Harry Potter just like me, and I got one for myself, <laughs> so I got two. Anyway, so let me take my polish off so we can start swatching. I started it just a teeny few minutes early today because I feel like it always takes me about five minutes to get started. And here we are five minutes in. Oh, you have that game, Christina, the exact game or the old Labyrinth game? The orangey red, this one? Yeah, it's pretty. That one is Aries. Oh, and Gloria, I don't know if Gloria's here, but Gloria, thank you. I received your polish in the mail. I hadn't been to my P.O. box in a few days because um, I was going every single day when polish pick brands were sending me their stuff for swatching, but I hadn't gone in a few days, and so thank you so much. Gloria was sending me that polish, guys, if you weren't here, that one swatch vest because I dropped probably the last time that I bought polish from Kale Polish, um, I dropped that one and it shattered. And Gloria said she had an extra, I think. So she's so sweet. So, so sweet. Oh, the movie with David Bowie, yeah. Uh, Kim, what I'm taking off is Poppy Fields Forever from Static Lacquer. This is the um, California Love and Indies duo that I showed on my channel a few days ago. That's only going to be available through Monday. If anybody wants to purchase that. I don't see Louise yet. Louise, are you here? Hey, it's Julie G. Julie G. Quebec. <laughs> Are you all caught up on Game of Thrones? Yes, but I probably should have been, I'm gonna go ahead and need to wear my glasses. I wear my glasses so much lately, I feel like I have permanent indent marks on my face. In fact, when I was editing the last few videos, I saw that I had indent marks on my face and I was just like, guess this is just my new norm. Um. Yes, I'm caught up. I'm ready for tomorrow's episode. Um, but I, I probably should have rewatched the seasons in my two-year break. It probably would have been smart. It's all right, though. But their recap was super short. You know how sometimes you go to watch a trailer in, and you're sitting down at the movie and you're watching a trailer and it's like it feels like a three-minute long trailer? And you're like, okay, well, so you basically just showed me the whole movie. Good job. That was a fast recap. I feel like they could have done a much more massive recap and it would have been fine with me. But it was fast. Anyway, I've been wearing this lovely white curly that Stacy from, um, not our group, Stacy, but um, Stacy Heron from Static Lacquer made for the Antelope Valley. Poppy Reserve, that was such a fun collaboration. So perfect for me. I think I made the right choice. Susan, Tim and I have been um, binge watching The Office. So there's some, there's some episodes that Tim has still never seen. Huh. Thought I heard Lincoln and I was like, I'm pretty sure he just left with Tim. <laughs> 
Oh, man. So we have been binge watching The Office, and I just love that show so, so much. And it's just a happy show for me, just like Friends. And Dwight is my absolute favorite. I love Dwight. Um, it just cracks me up. And it's always fun watching a show with somebody who hasn't seen it before, you know, and seeing their reactions to parts that you really like. So that's been fun. Okay, my nails are clean. Oh, you're wearing Triumph, thanks. You binge watched the weekend before? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's pick a polish to swatch. First up, as always, we have A through E for you to pick for your giveaways. I have a little bit of a runny nose, so that's not going to be that pleasant to listen to. So I might go out and blow my nose here in just a second. Allergies are crazy. Oh my goodness, you guys. Lincoln's allergies last Sunday when we came home from, we went up to Auburn, sorry, Auburn, California last weekend to visit my parents. We came home and his eyes were almost completely sealed shut. All of my kiddos have allergies, but he has it the worst of everybody, and he wasn't even himself for like the next four days. He was hardly talking. He was just so messed up because of allergies. Hi, Vicki. Oh, Susan, you should watch The Office. <laughs> it's so good. Heidi says A. Oh, no more of that dull stuff. Yeah, he was really messed up from the allergies. I actually don't suffer from allergies that much. Um, but I, I mean a little bit compared, compared to what, how they suffer. So Heidi says A, A is Caloris to Carol. So last week I showed you guys her new Mother's Day duo and Mother Earth trio, right? And then, oh, hi, welcome to your first live. And um, today you get to pick polishes if you're the winner from these five polishes. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, I was confused at a comment, but I caught up. Okay, so here are the polishes. These two are in a collection together, the duo. And then these three over here are in the trio. There, you can see a little bit of everything. We didn't... Give these, a, my nails are so yellow, you guys. That's just how it goes. That's just how it goes. Uh, we didn't give these away last week, right? Because I feel like they would have been gone already, but I'm all of a sudden having a brain lapse where I'm like, I feel like uh, we did. So, oh yes, Calorisa Carol is having 25% off Easter sale. Um, Candace, will you put in the comments what the code is for that sale? Um, so, before I give these away, somebody confirm for me that we did not give these away yet, right? Um, okay, so if this is your first live, um, how it works is you're going to be putting a number um, between 1 and 100 into the comment section. You need to make sure that your chat says live chat at the top, not top chat. Happy Easter, Tammy. And I will use my random number generator. I have a different phone case. Um, <laughs> it's nothing special. My other one had just been broken for a while. So then what happens is my random number generator on my phone is going to tell us, yay, hi Angie, is going to tell us, a lot of people's first, yay, what the winning number is. If uh, we have a tie, so you need to get closest to the number that you can without going over. If we have a tie, then it will be the person who the majority of us in chat see showing up first. So in case this is your first time, hey, another Angie's first time. Don't enter a number yet, guys. I didn't type go. So you're going to wait for me to type go. I'm going to type and say go. After I do that, that's when you're going to type in your number. Please only enter one number. And then um, if there's a tie, uh, we go off the majority. That's because your what you type into chat will always show up first because it's instantaneous on your internet. So we're going to go off of what the majority sees. Um, there. 
what the majority of people see in their chat to determine who the winner is, okay? Jennifer, you did? Okay, so that was what I was so confused about because I thought we did this. See, I was waiting for somebody to confirm that for me. So, Jennifer, I thought that we did... Um, I thought that, that's my problem. I don't have my notes in front of me. You guys, I lost an app on my phone, which I can't recover. I went into Verizon yesterday, I can't recover it. And it had a lot of notes that I took. Um, so, I thought that last week, you had your choice of a number of different Chlorosicarol um, polishes. But was it this one? Okay, so that's what I wanted you to confirm with me. So, let me, really quick, we're going to grab some different ones, okay? a lot sadder Quayla than I'm letting on right now but I'm too sad to talk about it so I don't want to talk about it maybe in a few weeks I will be less sad enough to talk about it okay so we're gonna have a bunch of random colors and that'll be fun too so we have eternal love we have the creatures gills right the creatures gills 2190 days hollow blast this kind of works out for me to face it this way and you guys can see all the names that's perfect and Mirage. So Mirage is a red linear hollow, basically. I'm trying to see if there's, yes, there's like little blue sparks in there. I forget what component made up the little blue sparks, but there's these cute little blue sparks. Thanks, Louise. Okay, so Jennifer, I'm making a, a note of that. And I, it's in my email. I know you emailed me, so. I just thought I mailed that to you already, so that's what my confusion was. Okay, so that's number one. Eternal Love is this gorgeous soft pink with this green shimmer. It's so cool. And there's that. Then we have the Creatures Gills, and this is a blue-green multi-chrome. It also has um, blue-green, I believe, like a purple-blue-green flaky. It has a multi-chrome flaky and something in there that's purple i see some purple glitters um so this one's really cool remember this one came from the halloween collection this one was from the anniversary trio 2190 days and it's so beautiful was this one a topper you guys yes this one's a topper so it's a linear hollow topper and it has tons of hollow glitters and different colors and stuff it's very patriotic feeling too, which would be perfect. You could wear this for your patriotic manicures. Oh, and this polish, by the way, this is a upcoming collaboration that I have. This is a new Moonshine Mani. It's coming out in May, but I can't tell you about it yet. Okay, and then I happened to grab both of these, but this is just a plain hollow topper. So if you just want to add a beautiful holographic finish to your nails, this is so pretty. I love this. This is hollow blast, so... As you can see, I haven't used this a ton, but I really do love this. And this is one of the first polishes I think that I picked up from Colors to Carol. Um, so those are your five that you get to choose from if you win. Um, and, oh, I missed something. <laughs> okay. No, Jennifer, thank you. I'm sorry for the confusion. I've got it now. I remember that we talked about it on email, so don't worry. And I've sent them over here to the side, okay? So we're just doing these ones now. So, again, you're going to wait for me to say go and um, type go. And then you can type in your number. Only type one number, please. 
and respect the majority rules rule. <laughs> okay guys, so here is, hi Ari, here is your go, okay? So go ahead and type in your number and I am going to pick a polish, yay, I'm so excited. So if I don't make these random, I can do what Angie from Paint of Flanges has been doing lately, which is um, she's been doing live videos, but inserting the picture, like the swatch picture into the live video. But I kind of like the randomness of picking polishes for you guys, which would, you know, means that I don't have the polish to swat, you know, show you a swatch photo before or in the video, but it would also be cool to show you the swatch video. Yep, get your numbers in, guys. If you're just joining us, this is the very first giveaway. You're going to put in a number between 1 and 100. This is Paint the Night. This is a glow-in-the-dark polish. Oh, I haven't tried this one yet, and I bought this at the Indie Shop um, last year at this time. The Indie Shop is about to happen. And I'm going to do the same as last week and just do two, two nails and two nails. The Indie Shop in L.A. is about to happen again. You like the randomness. Who else likes the randomness? I think the random is fun. It kind of goes along with the spirit of Swatch Fest and Chill, which is just playful and prizes and being silly. Okay. So this is a blue jelly with linear hollow and it's supposed to be glow in the dark. So I don't know how I can... Well, I can't get it completely dark in here because <laughs> it's daytime, <laughs> but I could get it darker. <laughs> so Tim and I had a date yesterday. We were going to go see a movie, but there was like nothing good on. Is anybody going to the movies this weekend? And if you are, what are you seeing? Because we could go see Dumbo. I just... We talked about that last week. It's just not, it's not really something I want to go see. Okay, I'm going to pick my next color. Oh, this is cute. This is a little, I think I also got this at the indie shop. It needs a little shaking. 77 lacquer, grab your leader hose in. <laughs> I think this was in the, um, the grab bag. I think it came from Color for Nails. So let me see. Man, my nails look real yellow with this blue on you guys. Uh, uh. Shazam was Shazam was okay. Yeah, get your number in. We're still we're gonna swatch two more little nails. Shazam was okay. It was a fun time. I got a little bit bored, but it was fun. Um, I mean I would almost go watch Captain Marvel again. But we decided to come home and watch The Office instead. We went and had massages at my favorite massage place. They're so good, and it was just amazing. So that was a killer way to start off the night. And um, then we went and had Mexican food. We went to one of my favorite places, and I can't ever remember what it's called. What is it called? On the border. So it's not like, it's not Mexican Mexican. You know what I mean? It's Americanized Mexican. Um, I really like, um, like family owned Mexican places in my own town too, but we weren't in my own town. So we went to on the border and I had fish tacos and it was delicious. And then we came home and watched the office and that was fun. Actually, we got home and the girls were still up. So we played a round of cars treble, like, you know, the treble game where you move your guy around and you push the little gunk gunk button thing in the middle. They have a version for cars, and it's like road rage cars or something. <laughs> You're on like this circular track where the big bus is like going to run over everybody or something. I don't know. It was fun, though. You know, as fun as a, as a little kid game can be. You didn't like the OG Dumbo, but did you, did you like the new Dumbo? And Whitley, I have been looking for somebody who watched Curse of La Llorona, so it was okay, um, but you wouldn't really recommend it, huh? I tried a few episodes of Westworld, Holly. Shrimp fajitas last night. What a baller. Um, 
Tolkien. Tolkien is going to be good, I bet. Oh, Little was good. Maria, tell me about Little because Rent the Mule. Tell me about Little because I didn't go see that because I haven't heard anything about that. Hello Kitty version of Trouble. That's cute. Okay, so here is your stop. Okay. Here is our, oh, I got a notification about a new video from Dee Dee. Okay. There's your number. Okay. Check the comments, guys. Find me number 52 or the closest to it without going over. The terror. And what's it? Well, okay. So here's the thing. Tim hates scary movies. Hates them. So I was trying to convince him to go see us but he's a hard pass on anything scary, so. And, um, hey, Carrie's here. Hi, Carrie. So, yeah. Since most of the theater, it was Pet Cemetery, La La Rona, um, Us. <laughs> I was thinking about going to see Five Feet Apart since some of you said that was good. But then the timing just wasn't right for what time the show was going to be on. Oh, my lighting looked like it got all of a sudden really dark. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I was staring at a bright light. Mary! Okay, let's get let's get about 10 more people. Let us know. Okay, it looks like Mary, you are the confirmed winner. Congrats! Woohoo! So you tell me, email me. If by any chance you have won a giveaway and it feels like it's been a real long time, like Jennifer and I were just discussing that she emailed me last week. I mean, like, has it been like a month, more than a month, and it feels like where the heck is my giveaway? Please just email me. I sometimes lose track of things in the digital world with so many emails and things like that. Don't be afraid to just email me and let me know that you didn't receive your giveaway. I would much prefer you do that because I sometimes sit here and feel like I feel like I'm missing something. You know what I mean? You guys have that feeling? Clarissa Carol is Mary. Yay, Mary Cordes. Am I saying that right? I'm probably not. Sorry. Yay, yay, yay. You love five feet apart. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Um, is it like that one though with the girl from, not Inception, why can't I ever think of this poor woman's name? You know the movie where it's the, that's the teen movie, I think it starts with the I, and they find out that they're actually part of like some of their civilizations, tr like try on society to see what happens if you separate them into the different groups. Yay, Mary! Um... You know, you guys know what I'm talking about where she and her brother, like he gets sort sorted into this one place for like the really logical thinking minds. Divergent. Okay, it didn't start with an I. Thank you, Holly. I'm going to take this off, guys. Um, yeah, that's what those ones were right there. These ones definitely need a third coat, but we're not going to do third coat. Um, Divergent. Is it like that where, okay, so not Divergent, but you know the other movie about the girl who has, she has a disease where she has to have the oxygen all the time and then she meets the boy who also was like recovering from cancer and I don't want to spoil anything for anybody, but it's like a major tearjerker. It's not like that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thanks Jennifer. I appreciate that. Um, it's about older teens with cystic fibrosis. Oh, well, that's nice. The Vault in Our Stars. Saira. Am I saying that right? Saira. Saira. That's so pretty. I love it. Um, Shailene Woodley. Yes. That's the one. It's about the Franklin Arctic Expedition. Oh. Hi, Flory. Flory, I emailed you. I'm just waiting to hear back from you, okay, before I send you your glam polishes. I wanted to know if you wanted something else. <laughs> Okay, Syra. Okay, Syra. That's easier than saying Saida, huh? Syra. 
<sighs> then the eye was an insurgent. Wait, was she in that one? Oh, that, that's the second movie. Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Then there was the Maze Runner, and I always get that confused with that franchise as well. <laughs> Even though I only saw the first one, and I don't know why. Maybe they came out at the same time, so I felt like they were in the same movie. You want this gold triangle pattern on your nails? Nice! You can just paint it. Do you have a little detail brush, Elise? Or Ian could paint it for you. I bet he'd be good at it. Okay, so now you have B, C, D, or E. Hi, Charmaine. Gloria's here. Gloria, were you here earlier when I was saying thank you for Tropicana? Thank you so much. You're such a sweetheart. <laughs> well, what about Ian? <laughs> I bet you have a triangle stamping pattern. Oh, you guys are flying up there with the letters. First one I saw was E. Jackie, that means Moonshine Manny. So this one will be easy. For Moonshine Manny, you just get to pick any uh, two polishes. It's always two because of shipping. Any two polishes off my website, okay? <laughs> if you guys didn't know, anything, anything more than two polishes in the shipping jumps way up. <laughs> So I'm trying to keep swatches and chill more affordable for me. Okay, so ready, set, go. Connie, tell me about these essies. What are these essies you talk about? Let's look on. 88 Beauty usually has essies first. Let's look there. Oh, I just used the same. Oh, I don't see anything on there yet. You guys are putting in a number to win Moonshine Manny. Did I say go? Yes, I did. See, I told you my brain doesn't really hold on to stuff very well. Um, okay, they're definitely not on 88 Beauty. I'm looking to see, Connie, if you're going to tell me about these essies. I don't see them on any of my sites. So I'm going to wait for you to tell me. And I'm going to pick some more polishes to swatch. So. Hey, Ilka's here. Hi, everybody. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. Ooh. I feel like Stacy might have given me this polish. Sorry guys, some of the ones at the bottom are needed a lot of a lot of shaking up. Essie has new polish on Ulta. Oh, that's fun. We're about to do a gold flake um, Easter eggs this morning. This one isn't wanting to shake up for me very good, but we're gonna just swatch it. This is a cupcake polish a charcoal linear holographic with chameleon glitters in there which i love they are those bright red to gold glitters this one's called float your boat so let's swatch it i'm so excited so somebody look on ulta's website and tell us what this new essie is Oh, I have a spoiler for you guys. Did I already say this in, on Instagram? Those new Color Club Pastel Brights are real good. Really, really good. All 12 of them. There are two that are a little bit more crelly ish formula, but still um, opaque in two coats. Opaque-ish, wow, dang, look at that. That's a one coater. Bam. That's awesome. Sold on fire, strike a rose, tango. And... Strike a rose sounds familiar. Take the lead does as well. Are those re-promotes? Are those re-promotes, guys? Strike a rose. Maybe strike a rose is. That's definitely a China Glaze name, right, guys? Anyway, I buy my Color Club at Trans Design because they're only four twenty-five a bottle. 
If you can find them cheaper at the Color Club sale, get some of those Color Club Pastel Bright. The Whatever Forever collection is really, really good. Um, this is, speaking of really good, this is awesome. They look like this. This yellow right here, so great at just two coats. And for a yellow, I mean, that's really awesome. So my review is still coming up, but I just want to give you guys a heads up. For anybody who was waiting to see if they were good, they're good. Okay. Okay, let's grab a... Orly breathable that looks like I got it from Target. I got it from Target. This has some shimmer. It's pretty. This is sheer luck. And it's not that sheer. Hey, maybe a misnomer. The six packs and sale price on top is cheaper. Yeah. Cool. Get it, guys. Hey, Latasha. Essie's Glazed Days. Okay, so is that the new stuff people are talking about? Because I think those other names were polishes I've, I'd heard of before. Or maybe Latasha was just telling us the name of the collection that Connie was naming polishes from. And they're jellies. That would be fun. This is pretty, guys. This is a Orly Breathable, which I feel like, since it got clearanced everywhere, I guess Orly decided that they weren't going to keep making these ones. Um, I don't remember them being any more expensive than the regular ones. These are a little bit messy. Well, at least this bottle is a little messy. Um... And I liked them. I don't know why why they like got instantly discontinued. Get your number. Oh, yeah. Get your number in, you guys. We're on the second giveaway right now. Um, so, actually, yeah. Hurry and get your number in because I'm going to <laughs> say stop in a second. <laughs> the breathables were really expensive. Okay, Yasmin says these were more expensive. So, I mean... Treatment plus color, all in one base coat, color, and top coat. I don't know. I feel like I'd probably still wear top coat with this. Oh, you did. Okay. Woohoo. Oh. I just said stop. Lisa, if you want to put in a number really quick. Because you just, just got here. They just released new colors of the breathable this weekend. Well, maybe they're just, they were like, okay, we're done with those colors. Bye-bye. We need new colors. Okay. Thanks, Lisa. Mm. Sorry, I'm feeling really dehydrated today. I don't think I drank enough water after my massage yesterday. And then we went and had chips and salsa, and it was a lot of salt, and I'm just like feeling the, feeling the after effects. Okay, here's your number. 56 is the number. We don't need a second coat of this bad boy. This is incredible, you guys. Um, I'm going to put a glossy top coat on that and see how it looks. Float your boat. I don't know if that's still on cupcake polish, but let's see. If I put it right there, then you can see it while I swatch the next one. Um, everything's backwards for me, by the way. That's why sometimes it's hard. Let's get some glistening glow on this bad boy. I have about 300 top coats sitting in front of me. So it's like top coat roulette. I just pick a top coat. Okay. Ooh, it's so pretty. I know I just put top coat on to take it right off, but... Hey, I wanted to see the, the glitters glow for a little while. You didn't get notified? I'm sorry, Sandy. Is your little bell clicked? Oh, hi, Ebony. Hi, bye. K, 
Okay, so it looks like we have looks like we have a mix here of who people are seeing. Heidi and Jackie are both such sweethearts. Let's see. Sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna pay attention because this guy's trying to get all over the side of my finger. You guys figure out what the majority is, por favor. I really like this one. I like it because it has this soft little peachy gold sparkle. It's very, very soft though. I forgot, oh, right before I had, right before I went to go get my massage, we were there a little early, so I went and got a pedicure really quick because I was needing it bad. And I forgot to bring a polish. I was gonna put on this guy from the new Color Club collection. Ooh, it's so pretty. It's called Can You Not? All the names of these polishes are really sassy too, by the way. But I forgot to take a polish, so I put on purple Palazzo pants. So it's kind of the same-ish, but not nearly as bright. Okay, majority are saying Heidi. You have this one at home, but you're not crazy about it. This one, Sandy? Okay, thank you, everyone. Heidi, I'll write you down. Jackie, I got you. We're going to get you a win, girl. Um, is that what you mean, Sandy? Okay, I'm going to look up there and make sure we've got the right Heidi. Okay, gotcha. So just email me, guys. Heidi and Mary, this isn't your first win, but if this is your first time here and you have a first win, just email me, pmoonnails at gmail.com and let me know what you want, okay? Do some OPI Pompeii Purple on those toes. <laughs> well, it, I was picking from what they had there at the salon, which was is why I always prefer to just bring my own color. But I forgot. I, well, I didn't forget. I didn't know we were going to do it. <laughs> Essie's Glaze Days on Ulta and it'll cost $12.04 Canadian. Ooh, Kim, can you order from like 88beauty.com? Do they ship to, to Canada? I'm sure there are, aren't there some Canada, some Canadian located um, budget friendly sites to purchase mainstream brands? They look great together. Oh, I just took it off. <laughs> I can rewatch the video. Okay, you guys, you have left B. C and D, what do you want? What is your favorite color? Red, no blue. B, okay, we've got B. That is grab bag from Polish Pickup. We haven't done that in a few weeks. I've got clean nails now. Okay, I don't know why I, I go to this really horrible British accent occasionally, but you know, okay. Here's what we have to choose from. So over here, this is Pepper Pot Polish and it says, she shines in a world full of ugliness. Let's see if I can, is that any better? I don't know. This one has beautiful shifty flakies in like a dark I think it's a blackened base, but it has so much shimmer that's giving off this beautiful raspberry red. It's like a raspberry to red shift. Sparkle Canada is fairly reasonable. Nail polish Canada. This one is from Pampered Polishes, and it's called Feeling This. I think this was inspired by Blink-182. It's a white curly with... Look at all those cute glitters. And then we have Ever After. This was inspired by Keen, and I love Keen. This is Under the Iron Sea. This is a iron blue linear hollow, and it has pink and blue and teal, like a fuchsia to blue to teal chameleon um, flaky in there. I don't know, putting my hand in there is helping anything, but I feel like there's a lot of colors on the table. Then we have colors by LaRoe. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, well maybe you'll win. Oh, Sandy, you've never won yet. Maybe this is your day. 
There's only 94 people currently here. Maybe it's the time. <laughs> Lisa, you've never won either. Okay, so there's that. That is a, sorry, I didn't say. As you can see, it's a beautiful ultramarine blue jelly packed with shimmer and flakies. And then last up, this polish was cool. For all of you pink lovers, this is a pink linear holographic. One coater, so bright, so, so bright, and it's called Can't Stop. Mm. Okay, so here's what you're gonna choose between if you are the winner. Okay, so go. So what do you pick a number between one and a hundred? Yes, Sandy, one and a hundred. Here comes our next. Polished for days, persids. <laughs> Somebody tell me, how do you really say that? Persides. Um, from the May 2018 For the Love of Polish box. Ooh, mama. Let's do it. Perseids. Did I say that right, Janet? Perseids? Perseids. Which which part of those three things is the accent on? Perseids or Perseids? Perseid. <laughs> Perseids. I don't think you guys are in agreement. <laughs> the first one. Perseids. Perseid. There is an S on the end. <laughs> oh, I fail so hard. But you guys help me out, so that's epic. Okay, this is so pretty. It has a beautiful pink, a very, very, very strong pink Aurora pigment in here. Lots of those Cosmic Hollow Flakies. The pigment is pink to gold to green. And it's in a deep, like, denim blue base. So pretty. Perseids. <laughs> super seeds. Like super seeds? Super seeds. Oh, man. Oh, yay. My mail lady just got here to pick up some packages to go out. There's a lot of flaky goodness in here, you guys. Anyone just barely joining, put a number in. Right now we're in the little floating area of time when you can put in a number to win. And the one we just did, oh yeah, we just we just jumped up by five people. So all you new five people, put a number in. Just pick one number between one and a hundred. And if you win, I'll tell you what you win in just a second. Next polish. Oh, we just got another orally breathable, so let's let's switch. Ooh. This is Night Owl Lacquer Gorgeous. I purchased this from her site a couple months ago. I was going through there and picking up some things that looked cool. This pretty much looks like yams. That's cool. So let's try it. Ooh, that's exciting, Livy's mom. Do I have mail delivery on Saturday? Yes, I do. Perseid. <laughs> oh, this is a cool color, guys. I bet you don't have any polishes that are this color. What a fun shade to wear in the fall. I'm gonna build that up at two coats and it'll look a little bit better, but that's a cool color. That's a rusty brownish orange jelly with shimmer and multi-chrome flakes.
Oh, sorry, Livy's mom. <laughs> I keep wanting to call you Livy. Just stop at the first part of your username. You can't stay. Hi, Cammy. Hi, and happy Easter. You need another coat of meteor shower? Is that what that word actually means? Is meteor shower? Sorry, if you said that and I just missed the comment. Okay, but I gotta pick a winner first and then we'll do another coat. Okay, so here's your stop. Looks a little bit like baby do. Well, maybe. Maybe it depends on what stage your baby is in. My baby has been so far not in that stage that I... It's the name of a meter shower. Okay, guys, so here is your next number. 43. 43. Let's do another meteor shower round. Here we go. Are you guys getting excited for I Love the 80s Polish Pickup? All I can think of is the VH1 show. I love the old tubes. Is that how it went? I used to watch a lot of VH1 in college, and then now it's, I don't have cable. I haven't had cable since college. But Isabel got it right on the money. Yay, Isabel! Do we have a tie? Anyone? PPU grab bag. Isabel or Isabella? Isabel. Isabel B. Woohoo! Congrats, girlfriend! Uh, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, I Love the 80s. It's going to be so fun. I just saw Dolly from Dollish Polish, her strawberry shortcake inspired. I was wearing a strawberry shortcake shirt. I have to tell you guys a funny story. I was wearing a strawberry shortcake shirt yesterday. But Dolly's strawberry shortcake inspired polish looks so cute. Have you guys seen that? Uh, you pick you pick two, Isabel. Okay. So when we're done, you don't have a time limit on when to claim your prize, by the way. So when you're done, oh thanks, Connie. Um, you can just skip forward to this part in the video and pick your polishes. Pick your poison. We're gonna do another coat of gorgeous. Gorgeous from Night Owl Lacquer. That's what this is. This color reminds me of my youth because this is not my funny story, by the way, but I grew up in the foothills of the Sierra Nevadas and our dirt is this color. Actually, it's, it's a little bit more red than this, but it's really, really saturated orangey red color. And it would just get all over everything. <laughs> But this reminds me of when I was a kid and I'd come in from playing covered in dirt. Uh, I don't know, but that's immediately what I thought, Stephanie, when I read it. I have a guess that it probably will not because you can't offer, like, auctions anymore on your listing. Like, sometimes uh, things were being offered, like, no magnet or with magnet, scent or no scent. I'm pretty sure I saw that they were taking away, like, the variation option and I'm guessing that a lot of people wouldn't purchase it just because it was scented but that would be cool huh I gotta take this off ah <sighs> Perseids we're taking you off this reminds me of another polish pickup color but I can't remember what it is our polish for days not polish pickup but it might have been polish pickup um, Nail Hoots Polish for Richard Simmons. Me too. Me too. Me too. There's just like way too many awesome inspirations. Okay, so my funny story is last night I was wearing, I was wearing like, I don't know what the style of pants that I like to wear, but they're like, you guys remember baggies from the 80s? I wear some pants that are like that kind of a lot, but they're like capri length. And they're just loose cotton pants. I don't know. 
Anyway, they're kind of around the house clothes, and I <laughs> wore what I was wearing out on a date with my husband last night. I didn't really think about it because he could not care less what I'm wearing. He is just the most, like, universally loving person ever. And he just thinks I'm beautiful no matter what, no matter what I'm wearing. And I happen to love being comfortable. So, not, not that you can probably tell. But, um, so I went out and we were wearing a strawberry shortcake. I was wearing a strawberry shortcake shirt. And he was probably wearing a nice polo and jeans or something. I don't know. But we got to the restaurant. Oh, I remember. He was wearing a shirt that we got at Disneyland. We got these, um... These shirts where it's for up and it says on his shirt it has the house and like balloons trailing over your shoulder and it, it says she's my greatest adventure and then I have one that matches that says he's my greatest adventure and they both have like the up balloons in the house and stuff and we go in and poor Tim he gets this all the time because I've said this before but Tim grayed when he was like 18 years old right and I'm so much shorter than him and I was dressed like a child probably yesterday. But the lady was like, oh, that's so cute. Is that a shirt that you got to match with your daughter? And she points at me and he's like, that's my wife. And she's like, oh, I'm really sorry. I, I just have a hard time telling between women if they're somebody's daughter or wife. I felt bad. It's a really good thing that he doesn't care, like, at all, because it cracks me up, and I needed a pick-me-up yesterday, so it was pretty funny. And it always makes me think what people think, like, when we're kissing in public, because we don't care about PDA or whatever, and so, I don't know, that always makes me laugh. Okay, you guys, you have C and D. What do you want? C or D? Uh, this... I was talking about at the beginning of the video is coming up in May. It's launching on May 20th, but it's a collaboration with another brand and I am saving it to tell you guys about it in a little while. She must have been so embarrassed. I know I felt bad. And I used to work in food service. I used to be a server. Was I a hostess for a short time? It's hard to know, but like, I don't know. She might just always guess daughter just to make the women feel good. You know what I mean? Um, B. You guys pick B. We already did B. Jesse said D. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Rachel. Okay. So D. I saw D. So that's Glam Polish. I want to show you guys these new collections in full that I was um, giving you some sneak peeks, but we didn't look at everything. So. This is the Avengers, um, Avengers Galaxy collection. So both of these two six-piece collections launch on May 2nd. Um, but they have totally different themes. Let me just make sure I'm telling you the right thing. The Avengers Galaxy collection. So these ones are jewel tones. Here's the names. We have Titan. Oops, I started on this side because that's because it's opposite for me. Titan, Nowhere, Infinity War, God of Thunder, um, Endgame, and Gamora. Cool, huh? So you know how glam polish, well, they don't always do it like this, but often they each polish has either very, very similar components or the exact same components. So these are all jewel tone jellies. And then inside they have, they have um, hollow glitter. It's like a hollow glitter mix and that glitter actually gets to like a medium sized glitter. Sorry about that. Didn't, hope I didn't make anyone vomit. Um, it's a silver glitter mix. And then it also has um, ultra hollow glitter. And then it has chameleon flakies in there. And the chameleon flake is very polish to polish, so they don't all have the same one. This one, as you can see, has like an orange to pink to gold. So this is Gomorrah. So we'll look at these. They'll probably just be like a day apart from each other, or maybe I'll put a different brand in between, but that's the Avengers Galaxy Collection. Now, which of these two are you more excited about? 
This one, let me get them all facing up, is the Cast a Spell the Sea Witch Collection. These are all pastel Crellies, but they're all linear holographics too. Pastel Crelly linear hollows. Sorry, there's one more that we're gonna have to sneak in at the end. So we've got uh, Wicked, Clairvoyant, Prophecy, Sorcery, Mystical, and Cursed. Sorry, I couldn't read that one. I'll say that. So these are the same where they have the same components. And, oh, that they're actually going to all be exactly the same because there's no flakies in any of them. So they're linear hollow at the base, and then they have, I believe, the same hollow mix as the, um, the Galaxy Collection because it gets to kind of like a medium um, glitter size, and then they also have micro hollow glitter in them as well. So very, very holographic pastels. Cool, huh? So this is the Sea Witch, Cast a Spell of the Sea Witch Collection. And I'm not sure what this collection is inspired by. Doesn't even look like the same human. That's so bad. Um, I'm not sure which collection or what this inspiration point is. If there is a pop culture reference to this right now, I'm not sure. I know that the um, the Little Mermaid Club movie is coming out soon-ish, but not yet yet. Oh, whoopsie! The comments was up there. Prophecy is unusual. Yeah, it's a very, it's an orangish coral. It's really cool. So that is May 2nd. So we will be looking at that either next week sometime or maybe like the 29th. So both of those collections. But for today, I picked you another grab bag to choose from. Remove these. Actually, you know what? I will be happier with them over here. I have a nail rack here. That's what you keep hearing clacking whenever I'm putting stuff over there. So sorry about that. You guys left C for last. What could C be? I don't know. It's such a mystery. Okay, here's what you get to choose from today. Oh, this is so pretty. This is the Shimmer Awakens. It is a silver linear hollow, but it's blasted with shimmer. Like so, 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 so much shimmer. And it's a pinky fuchsia color. That was from the Star Wars collection. And what's cracking? This is a really beautiful deep kind of violet jelly, I believe. I believe it's a jelly. Well, might have a tiny bit of white in it. With pink glitters and flakies. And then we have Somebody to Love from the Queen Collection, the Bohemian Rhapsody Collection. This was that really dark black and teal with all these colors. Of flakies and micro hollow. Then we have, oh shoot, the, I think as I put my my mouse over the chat, it's stopping the chat. You don't own any glam polish, Yasmin. Okay, sorry. This is hot as shell, and I believe this is similar to the the um, Sea Witch collection, similar in formula, there's no flakies in here. I think each of these have a shimmer going on though. Each of the ones in this collection. And then, last one. This is We Scare Because We Care. From Monsters, Inc. And it has a beautiful pink shimmer. And the flakies too. Actually, I think it's a red to green shimmer, not pink. So that's what you're choosing from for this fourth giveaway. Hi, Carolina. We already did your polishes very first, girlfriend. Uh, ready? Go. 
And Carolina's having a sale this weekend, an Easter sale, you guys. Don't forget, we talked about that right at first. Okay, so you're putting in numbers. If you just joined us, put in a number between 1 and 100, and I'm going to pick a polish. Oh, this one doesn't want to come out. Oh, well, it was Sinful Shine. She's like, no, you haven't talked about me in forever. I am not going to come out of your swatch bin. Okay, this is Go Glossy, number 1335 that we're going to swatch real quick like. Okay. Okay, this is a, like more of a jelly formula. Interesting. It's very pigmented though. It's squishy and pretty. This is kind of a stinky one. That's pretty, huh? That is just like a timeless shade that I love to go to. Alien theme, cool. Okay, so next. The next polish. Oh, it's another polish for days. Sorry. Ooh, this is a blush. I think that Stacy sent me this one too. She likes to send me polishes that are in my little niche of colors that I like to wear. I mean, that I like to search for. I like to search for different kinds of colors that you don't see that much. This is like a beigey taupe with this gorgeous, I believe it's probably a multi-chrome shimmer in there, that's bringing some like copper warmness. Um, and it has some hollow in there. This is called Splendid from Blush Lacquer. <laughs> that's a mom thing. I missed it. Oh, when I said it's stinky. <laughs> that's because some pigments are just stinky. Aw, Grandma Shelly, that sounds so adorable. Oh, it's past one o'clock, you guys. I apologize. This is pretty. I love it. I just love a twist on a neutral. Speaking of neutrals, I still don't have those China Glaze uh, neutrals in my hands yet, but they're on their way. Are you guys even pumped to see those anymore? Um, because they're neutrals. <laughs> I know some of you really like neutrals. Okay, here is Stop, okay? Stop. You don't mind going past time? Thanks, Sandy. Okay, so let's get back to my tab with my number generator. Okay, the magic number is 11. Did anybody pick 11? Oh, you like them, Carolina? I love that they all have shimmer. And I was watching Angie's video the other day. You kind of like the stinky polishes, Christina? You're like, oh, this one's really stinky. It's going to be really good. <laughs> oh. That's awesome to know that you love them, Carolina. Okay, so did anybody pick 11? I better hurry up and swatch my polishes. It looks like my my thing turns extra yellowy and like different colors when I have that screen on there is what happens. Okay, this is a second coat of Simple Shine Go Glossy. She bossy. That's pretty. I love a squishy look. And if you stop at just the two coats, it's not like 100% opaque. And I really like that. Oh, I need, <laughs> I put the polish away to leave 
to leave the one undone. That just wouldn't be right. Anybody get close to number 11? I haven't looked up at the chat, but I will in just one second. Mm, that is so pretty. Oh, Goddess Solara. That is a first for you, right, girlfriend? This is glam. Oh, we have a we have a discrepancy. The majority of what I see in the chat is saying Goddess Solara. And I see that a few people see cat. But not as many as Goddess Solara, you guys. Cat has 12. Oh, I see. Cat went over. Okay. Okay. Now we need a second coat of blush splendid. And then we'll move on. Do you guys want C or C? Or C. That sounds like I'm saying horsey. Hmm. In the bottle, the like coppery multi-chrome shows up way more, I think because it had separated a little bit. But when I go to swatch this, I think mostly when you see that kind of um, the shimmer pulled apart, it, I think it's because it's grabbing to the edge of the bottle. But on the majority of the polish inside, that's so pretty. Um it is incorporated and so it just gives it a, just a little something different a little some something, something Ooh, it's so pretty you think so that would be pretty huh too bad I'm gonna take it off I'm such a dork <laughs> okay so last up, we're gonna have Top Shelf Lacquer. So, Goddess, Goddess Solara, email me, okay? pmoonnails at gmail.com. So, who's ready to win some neon? I told you you'd get your chance to win these last week, didn't I? So you're gonna pick your two favorites. Goddess Solara, pick your two favorites of those glam polishes. Let's see. Can you see all of them? No, you can't. I gotta move this way. Oh, good. Here we go. <laughs> uh, it makes me feel spatially challenged, but it's actually just because everything's mirror imaged and I'm not Jane Fonda yet. Okay. Um, so, if you guys watched a review of these, these are super beautiful. You have like all of your primary colors here of neons. Getting your neons, neon manis started early this year. I'm happy about it. I'm not mad about it when, eon, e, e, when eons start early. No. <laughs> I missed it. I missed it. What did Yasmin say? Splendid is pretty. Looks like Brighton from Zoya, kind of. Yeah, totally. Na, 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 na. Oh, cat, I'm sorry. We'll get you, girlfriend. Oh, you guys. Who else watches Top Chef? The, the current Top Chef. Okay, there's not a current one. It's already over. There's been a winner, but I'm behind. So I'm, I'm catching up. But I just saw... The last episode was dedicated to um, Fatima, Fati they called her on the show. That made me so sad because I was like she I was just watching her in all her vitality last year and she died from cancer uh, in January. Hi Tim. Oh Tim's here. Oh, I love you too, babe. Anyway, yeah, I just saw that today. It made me really sad. 
Okay. I think I will rewatch her season, see, see Zen and watch all of her amazing work that she did. Okay, so if you win, you get to pick two of these polishes. Right? Hot enough for Nians in Florida. Okay. <laughs> you guys are very funny. Crack me up. So, if you win this next giveaway, this is our last giveaway. If anybody's trying to hang on and being like, why isn't she done yet? It's one o'clock. This is our last one. Okay, so ready, set. Put a number between one and a hundred and go. Do we have time for two more polishes to swatch? I'll try to be fast. Yeah, we gotta get eight like last week. Ooh, we get to look at this Emily Damali. Oh my goodness. It's like it's my birthday when I get to swatch Emily Damali. Uh, Divine Conversations. Again, this is a polish that Stacy sent to me. This is just like the Stacy day and Stacy's not even here. But it's like she was meant to be because she's in every polished conversation. This is cool. And I hadn't had a chance to swatch it yet, so I'm pumped. So we have like a deep blurple, it looks like, jelly. Filled with green to gold to orange flakies, it looks like. Ooh, this one's a little runny on me. Don't worry, I'll catch it. And it has hollow. Ooh, it's gonna be pretty. It's gonna be like a, the new word I learned today. It's gonna be like a Perseids. Eh, eh, pretty good. <sighs> Tim, why am I such a dork? Okay. Now, last polish of the day. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Somebody answer for Jean. What happens when more than one person picks the same number? Okay, we got another simple, simple. so I'm going to pick a different one. Okay. Oh, this will be fun. A liquid chrome. Metal effect. Ooh. It tells us it has a metal effect. This is the color GNL906. No, it is not. It is the color Radiant Rose, but it's also GNL906. Yep, this is the last giveaway. Pick a number between 1 and 100. The last one. You guys, if this is your first week here, we do this every week at 12, uh, at noon, Pacific Standard Time. So if you like getting things for free, if you like hanging out with cool people and a semi-cool nail polish swatching host, then be here at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That was very opaque. Tim, if you're watching, see this chrome polish is what I was telling you about the other day. See all the, see all the little brush strokies? This is what I was talking about. You do not have a rule about winning twice whether it is the same video or in different videos. You do you, and if if you win on the same day twice, then that is your lucky day, and you should go buy a lottery ticket or something. Although, I'm not gonna tell you guys to gamble, so you could go, well, telling your crush that you like them is also kind of gambling. But that could be a good thing to do. It's not gambling with money. Okay, we're going to do a second coat of Divine Conversations. What's another coat that somebody could gamble? Oh, sorry. I'm just going straight to second coat without announcing the winner. <gasps> oh, look, see? I have to have that space of time because look what I just did. It wasn't dry yet. Boo. If I was doing this for my manicure for a photo or to wear for the day, I'd start over. But... We're just going to not, because this chrome doesn't need a second coat, so I just need to second coat this bad boy. What's another way that you could gamble, ha, gamble <laughs> and do something exciting that doesn't gamble your money? Oh, 
Tammy. Tammy, I think that you've won a Swatch Fest before, haven't you? Maybe not a Swatch Fest and Chill. I feel like I've sent you some things. But happy early birthday. That's going to be exciting. Can you paint the thing I thumb before I get home? The thing you thumb? I don't know what that means. You were the third to pick the same number. Oh, I see what you're saying. Make sure you're on live chat. Yes. Carrie, this chrome is so 80s. Is that what you're saying? You guys are cute. You're on the train. Your Wi-Fi is acting up. There you go. Apply for your dream job. Let your teenager drive. <laughs> that might end up costing you a lot of money. Um, Cheryl, I would have to learn about gel technology before I could do that. I don't know anything about that and the different components that go into it. Here is the stopping point on these two ladies and gentlemen who are here. Isn't that pretty? It looks like a galaxy on my nails and a beautiful pink spaceship flying through the galaxy. Choom, choom. Oh, you're visiting your dad in Spain from Finland. Hola, you came in just at the end. You want to put in a number? Chrome should be mirror finish and not brushed metal finish. Well, so you guys know why you have brush strokes, right? It's because the polish is drying so fast that it's drying how the brush is laying it down. That's why it's, that's why you have those lines. That's why you'll get those lines with a pearl finish sometimes too. <laughs> I missed Tim's cuteness level over 9,000. Aw, aw, Tim, that was very cute. <sighs> what a sweetie. Okay, here's stop. I thought you were already here, babe. I totally thought I heard you pull into the garage like 10 minutes ago because I'm late. Okay, so let's get the last number. Drum roll yourself on your own computer. I'm not going to do it because it would make an annoying noise. Ready? Go. 61. 61 is the final winner. Who was it today? It's going to get some neon in their life. I'm actually going to take this off already. Because... I am going to give my little nails a little mani bomb bath and a soak and slather up with lotions and cuticle oils. They need a little treat. Okay, I don't see you guys' comments going yet. Anybody see who got 61? George's nails 83, but did you get 61? Don't leave yet. <laughs> It's time to put the kids to bed already, huh? Renee! Renee, are you here? I didn't see you. You haven't been talking except for answering in numbers, I guess. Although, of course, you could have said something and I just didn't see it. And for that, I apologize. <gasps> Congrats, Renee! Renee, can you tell me how you pronounce your last name, please? Because every time I get an order from you, um, I pronounce it how it sounds in my head, and I'm sure I'm wrong. Maybe next time, go kiss those little kitties and put them in bed so you get some you time tonight. <laughs> and happy sleep, George's Nails. Renee, where you at, girlfriend? Oh, thanks so much, Kat. I'm so glad you like it. I have not got my polish pickup yet. I haven't got a shipping notification or anything. But that's all right. 
Renee, I'm waiting for you to tell me. Are you still here? Do you see that you're the winner? Sometimes I think that that's why I don't hear back from people. Is uh, if they don't stick around long enough to hear that they're the winner. You have reverse 16. She must have left. Oh, really? You think she left? Huh. Oh, thanks, Connie. Oh, I need to put this polish in the blue bin. There's anchor and heart black. And I need to put all of these kale polishes in here. <gasps> Look at all my new additions to the red bin. These yellows, this red and orange. Another red. Mm -hmm. That's Mother of Dragons is more green. We'll put it in the bin. Mm. Well, I'm going to email her. I'm going to email Renee. Who else had 57? You are lagged about one minute? Oh my goodness. I didn't think the lag was that much. Who else had 57? I saw you guys say it up there a few times. Desiree had 57. Desiree, are you still here? Desiree, are you, are you the Desiree who was Desiree? Desiree Mendez? Okay, so I'm going to email Renee, but Desiree, email me and you get to pick two, okay? This pen is given out. Yay! Okay, email me, all right? I was about to figure out how to pronounce Renee's last name. Anybody have a best guess? <laughs> okay, well, that's it, you guys. That's it. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for hanging out with me. We swatched eight polishes. It looks like that's about the max we can get through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think my favorite, I think my favorite was this cupcake polish, really. And then this, I really did like this blush one. Ooh, yes, so good. Yes, happy Easter, everyone. You're welcome, Desiree. I look forward to talking to you. Everyone have a happy Easter. I think the Easter Bunny might be bringing my children some money in their, in their eggs this year. Thanks everyone. Thanks for being here. Okay guys. Okay, good deal. Everybody email me if you that if we discuss as the winner. I'm seeing another one just flash up at the last second. Um, but I didn't see that. Ooh. Yeah, babe, that sounds good. Happy Easter, everyone. Okay. Yeah, happy Bunny Day to anyone that doesn't celebrate Easter. Just have a fun, fantastic weekend with your family and friends. Love you guys. Thanks for being here. <laughs> and I'll see you back next week. And we have lots of videos coming up this week. Oh, my goodness, you guys, we have so many videos. So I'll see you later. Yes, see you later. Bye, everyone.